In my eagerness to explain how to play this rather taxing video game, I forgot to illustrate some more basic controls that will be fundamental to players of this game. Firstly, turn on your N64 by grasping the power switch and pushing upwards. The switch will lock into place without you having to hold it there. Some may find this procedure problematic should your house experience a power cut or possibly the world is suddenly overtaken by an alien race. Don't panic should that happen, I'm sure the big man in the clouds will lend you his N64. Following a brief pause, the N64 will show signs of life and proceed with checking that you have a genuine N64. Should the software detect illegal hardware or software, it will self-destruct upon showing of the dreaded rainbow screen of death. During the initialization of the game, one must not be tempted to move the analog stick or press any of the buttons on the controller as that will result in the deletion of your PayPal account. An easter egg discovered in this game requires that you wait at the title screen. After approximately 5 days 33 minutes and 16 seconds, a special game will appear in which Mario moves without any input from the user. Players have confirmed that there are several of these hidden games which can only be accessed at the title screen, yet to date no one knows for sure what their true purpose is. Pressing the round red button labelled start and centred on the controller will delete the annoying Mario head that is a glitch left in from the early days of development. The fast led screen is now shown that has countless features, too many to list here. You need to guide the glove like sprite about the screen using the stick thing on your controller. Careful not to touch the sides as to avoid having to start again. When you have aimed the hand ring well, press either of the trigger buttons with careful timing and if by chance you destroy the cred box, your game will begin. This game features an advanced save feature, allowing players to continue from when they last saved, a facility that even PCs have yet to reproduce in any form. One famous complaint concerning this game is that it has too many save files, the reasoning being that the average player only needs 3 save files and no more. There is a patch to remove the full save file which may be downloaded from the website dun 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 doco.uk.com.net It is recommended that one consumes tea while waiting for the download to finish especially for those unfortunate people with slow internet access speeds of only 24 gigabits per second. The start button that I previously mentioned also pauses the game. This is a very confusing concept as one would not claim to be a plumber and also a hero. As if by magic, the game would seem to be in a pool state. However, this mode actually unlocks more features not available anywhere else. By pressing the stick thing, you can move through the list of records that details your progress in the game of the various levels. Information stored includes the number of stars stolen, Mario's current age, your email address, how long you have played the game so far and any cheats you have unlocked. If you should press the start button again, the game will be restored as if you had actually frozen time while the game was paused. 
Now you may like to try out the L button which calls for the assistance of Luigi if you have unlocked him otherwise it will blow up the game. Many players were convinced that the text on the star fountain revealed how to unlock Mario's shorter, uglier, fatter and slower brother Luigi. However, using a supercomputer so advanced it could play NES games flawlessly, the scanner showed that the text reads LOL. Since only Nintendo knows what LOL means, players have only unlocked Luigi using a strange device called an equalizer. That's it for part zero. Be sure to keep playing this game, even when asleep. If you ever have a chance of collecting all the stars, saving the princess, and redecorating the castle. Next time, in part minus one, Mario has a quiet word with Peach about the monster on the roof. Luigi admits that he's in love with Toadette. Bowser speaks for the first time about how he was bullied at school for being different and Mips the Rabbit goes back to Alice in Wonderland.